Hello, I'm Mr. Tan. Today we are doing set three e math from chapter one, quadratic and fractional equation. So there's an Asian Bellononia tablet. Okay, and one of the tablets, okay, that's found around 1600 BC have this question. I take away the side from the area of a square to get area 170. So if you write in algebraic notation, that will be expressed as a projected equation S squared minus S equal 870. So can you solve this? So this general method to solve any projected equation will finally develop after 3000 years in the 16th century. The, as everyone thought that the problem of solving quadratic equation was laid to rest, in September, in September 2019, low person, a mathematic professor, okay, we discovered a technique used by the Asia Bellononia that made the solving of quadratic equation much easier. So in this chapter, we will learn about the idea behind the standard general solution to any quadratic so equation. Solving quadratic equation by completing the square. So let's recap how to solve quadratic equation by factorization. So a quadratic equation is in the form with the power of two a s square, then followed by b s plus c equal zero, where a b c are real number and a is not equal to zero. So let's recap how to solve by factorization. So in this example. Solve the equation s square minus 5s minus 6 equals 0. So first you factorize using the multiplication frame. So you get s minus 6 s plus 1 equals 0. So using a zero product principle, that means s minus 6 can be 0 or s plus 1 can be 0. So that when they multiply, you will get a 0. So from here, you bring the 6 over s equals 6. You bring the 1 over s equals negative 1. So this is known as solving quadratic equation by factorization. So the big idea is that if the two equations are equivalent, like s squared minus 5 s minus equals 0, s minus x plus equals 0, so these two are equivalent equations. And converting an equation into a sequence of appropriate equivalent equation is the basis of solving an equation as well. Solving quadratic equation of the form, operating by square. So the earlier quadratic equation is solved by factorization. So such, such quadratic equation can be expressed in the form s plus r bracket square equals s, where r and s are real number, which we will cover later in this chapter. So let us see how an equation of the form s plus r bracket square equal to s can be solved easily by taking the square root of both sides of the equation to obtain the solution, as shown in example two. So solve the equation s plus three bracket square equal 14. So by square root both sides, you left with s plus three, here you need to put plus minus, okay? So bring the three over s equal to minus three, plus minus square root 14. So minus three plus square root 14, you get 0 0.42 minus three minus Square root 40 get negative 6.74. So you put in 3 as that. So the, the notation plus minus is used to represent plus or minus in a concise manner. So for example, plus minus square root 40 means plus square root 40 or minus square root 40. So here also means plus or minus. So we learned in the previous session that okay, okay, passive perfect square. 
So we encounter the LGB expression s plus three bracket square in what example two. So what expression do we call? This is called perfect square. So for example, nine and six are perfect square because they can be expressed as the square of integer, like three square, four square. So LGB expression like a square plus b square, or a plus b bracket square, a minus b bracket square, also perfect square. Because they are expression, they are square of the expression a, b, a plus b, a minus b. So this can be represented as a square in the picture. You see, a, a, a square, b, b, b square. A plus B, A plus B. So similarly, the expression S plus three bracket square in what example two is a perfect square and it can be represented pictorially as shown in figure 1.1B. See, S plus three, time S plus three, S square, three S, three S, three S, three square. Perfect square. So completing the square, so s plus three bracket square is s square plus six s plus nine as shown. So it's s square plus six s also a perfect square. So by viewing the picture, we realize that s square plus six s is not a perfect square. In order to, to make it into a perfect square, we add three square that give you a nine. Then this s square plus six s plus nine will be s plus three bracket square. So this process is called completing the square. That's it, adding plus three square. So it's very important to know that s square plus six is not equal to s plus three bracket square. It's not. So what number do we add to a quadratic equation of s square plus b at to make it into a perfect square? Let us investigate. To make a quadratic expression of the form s square plus bs into a perfect square s plus r bracket square, we have to add a number to s square plus bs to complete the square. So the first one, this has been done. You can see adding a three square. How about this? S square plus AX. So you here you add a four square. They give you a so half the coefficient with b over two, so that's a four. So complete the square. X plus four bracket square. So the R is a four. So here we'll add a five square, five S plus five, five, six square, six S plus six bracket square, six. Oh, from the investigation, we complete the square for s square plus bs by add the number b over two bracket square. And so the completed square is s plus b over two bracket square. So this is important, take down this. So I say since s square plus bs is not equal to s plus b over two bracket square, how do we express s square plus bs into our perfect square? 
for example, three will show you how this is done. So express each of the following fraction in the term x plus r bracket square plus u. So simply x square plus 10x. So x square plus 10, I need to plus this. Your b plus b over 2 bracket square. But at the same time, you need to minus b over 2 bracket square. So you express in this form. Then there's a minus 25. So same here. So plus b over 2 bracket square. So you get this form, but minus come from here. So the problem solving thing is coefficient of x is 10. We divide this by 2 and get 5. So 5 square, we add 5 square to x square plus 10x. Since x square plus 10 is not equal to x square plus 10x plus 5 square, it means that equal and need to subtract the 5 square. And now we we'll learn how to solve in quadratic equation by completing the square. Solve the equation x squared plus 4x minus 3 equals 0. Give your answer correct to two decimal place. So there are two methods. Method one is to make this okay cut this into two parts then make this by completing the square so when you complete the square you will have uh plus b over two remember this one is plus b over two bracket square and after that, because you add this, you also need to minus b over 2 bracket squared. Then you make this into a quadratic equation already. Then here, simplify minus 7, bring over 7 square root. And then plus minus, you get the answer. Method 2 is to bring this over the 3. Then you do your plus b over 2 bracket square. So instead, minus bring over the other side also, plus b over 2 bracket square. Then you get this, you bring the square over, then minus 2 plus minus, you will get the same answer. So, so there are two methods. So which method do you prefer? So take some time to do the question. Okay, next. After learning how to complete the square, we will learn how to solve quadratic equation using formula. So you are aware that solving a quadratic by completing the square can be quite tedious at times. So we learn how to generalize this method into a general formula that can use to solve all quadratic equation. So early on, on we already touched on this using the two method. So completing the square, okay, is forming algebra. 
can come up with this formula. S is equal to negative V plus minus square root V square minus 4AC over 2A. So this formula actually derived from completing the square. So in summary, this is the formula that you need to remember for solving quadratic equation. Let's look at the example. Solving quadratic equation using the formula. So solve the equation 3x squared minus 4x minus 5 equal to 0. So this is the formula that you learn. So apply it. So can you see your a is 3? Your b is negative 4. The coefficient c equal to negative 5. So just substitute in correctly. So you simplify this first. So you get 76. Then you do your 4 plus square root 76 over 6. You get 2.12. Then 4 minus square root 76 over 6, you get negative 0 So here are some more questions for you to practice your uh, quadratic equation formula. So with that, we come to the end of the lesson. Thank you. Have a good day to you. Goodbye.